Welcome to the Daily News with your host, Bianca Remedius. Today's feature is New Evidence Discovered to Prove Evolution. We are so excited, and we have a guest, Dr. Maria Bullock. Welcome to the Daily News, Doctor. Now tell us, what is evolution? Hi, Bianca. Evolution is when I pass on my good looks to my kids. Am I right or am I right? Just kidding. But seriously, evolution is the idea of organisms changing over time. How do organisms change? Can I become Kim Kardashian? <laughs> <laughs> Bianca, you are funny. But the change occurring is the change in DNA or the organism's genotype causing their phenotype to change because of their environment. So the main question on everyone's mind is, is evolution observable or testable? It is both observable and testable. For example, let's go back in history to Darwin's journey to the Galapagos Islands. On the island, he found organisms that were similar to organisms who lived in different places, but they acted differently, such as mockingbirds, wrens, warblers, and blackbirds species. He also observed the process of natural selection, where organisms develop traits suitable to their environment so they can survive and reproduce. I wonder how Mr. Bean's offspring will survive in this day and age. <laughs> Funny again. Also, today we dig up fossils which are remnants of organisms that existed in the past and have similar DNA to current living organisms. I also heard that the study of geology shows the Earth is really old, so that means there must have been time for evolution. But how old are we talking about? Like, Mick Jagger old or Miley Cyrus old? <laughs> in your terms, we are talking about a few million Mick Jagger old. Interesting! So there's actually evidence that evolution occurred and will continue to occur. Thank you for your time. That's all for the Daily News with your host, Bianca. Toodles! Created using Powtoon.